Well, if you would have told me a year ago that this is what we would be doing, I would tell you you were crazy. There have been a roller coaster of emotions. Who does the most work in the company? That would be me and Jeff. I am Jeff King. I'm the CEO, Chief Executive Officer for Winchester Property Management. Jeff's job is to see the future of the company and keep us moving forward, even though sometimes I can't keep up with Jeff. And none of us can keep up with Jeff. Jeff's role of the company is the driving force. Jeff has a vision and is very intentional with that vision. Jeff is the one who posts all the menus and stuff online. Jeff's role is also to shake hands and kiss babies and do the networking. Jeff isn't a very good minion. <sighs> I am the chief operations officer. David has a skill of playing well with others. He plays well in the sandbox. David's role, fix the things. Build the things. Fix and build the things. That's David's role. I keep the business running on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, David has occasionally can be found taking naps. David's role is to build things and fix things and lift heavy things. He is definitely our maintenance guy. One of the challenges David faces is reading Jeff's mind. What isn't my role in the company? Except fixing things, that's not my forte. Sarah thinks that she's in charge of everything. So Sarah is our CFO. Um, who turns out doesn't actually manage the money and David had to tell her to manage the money, uh, but manages a lot of other projects and spearheads movement in the company. My wife is doing terrible at that job. First, I have the CFO role, so I have to try to keep track of our money in and out and make sure that we're not spending too much more than we're making. You know, it's really hard when you're, you you open five restaurants in three months. Sarah is the one who does the as far as I as far as I'm concerned, she's the one that does the research for the, how much it costs to make each food item and what the price should be. She's creative, so she is absolutely able to design cool websites, envision cool product, cool layouts. Hi, my name is Melissa. My role for the company started out as HR. That's been interesting. Melissa is HR. By day, I'm a pediatrician. The oxymoron here is that I'm a pediatrician specializing in obesity medicine. I sometimes struggle with that as I push pizza and ice cream. But moderation is key. Melissa's role is to be nice. She's in charge of hiring and firing and training. Melissa's the nice one of all, all of us. She's the nicest. And she has like the patience and people skills. So I got a phone call from my brother, um, who, who was friends with a local pizza shop owner. Um, and my brother, knowing that I like to dabble in entrepreneurship, um, let me know that the business was up for sale. Roughly knew a price, um, and I had been in this pizza shop one time. So being that I already have a partnership set up through our LLC with David, I called David and said, here's what we got. Uh, we'd been looking for an opportunity to start a business. And I ran a lawn care company for 
a few years and it just wasn't working out. So then we gave up on that. And then one day Jeff calls me while I'm sitting in a deer stand and says, you're going to hate me, but we're going to buy a pizza restaurant. By that night, Jeff and I were having pizza in said pizza restaurant. Melissa and I went to the restaurant. We talked to the owners. As soon as we got there, they knew exactly what we were there for. So it wasn't like we could be undercover purchasing, you know, just trying a pizza. They recognized right off the bat and they're like, hey, you're going to buy it. And so we sat down in what was then was the dining room of the restaurant and started talking about it, started negotiating price. And I said, I want to learn to make pizza. So I started learning to make pizza. I called David and said, I'm going to go make pizza. And David, like the typical grown child that he is, got up very excited and decided he wanted to go make pizza with me. So David and I decided that we we're working at a pizza restaurant that we weren't even committed to buying, but we decided to work there for free for uh, a week or two, making pizza. I came to see the restaurant after Jeff called me and I thought, what the heck are we doing? Within a month, we were managing said pizza restaurant and completing our purchase agreements. We decided to move forward with the purchase, um, made a deal with the owners. They said, hey, we're going to go on vacation. If you guys could help us cover while we're on vacation, we'll work out the deal. Your first day, it'll all be under your control, will be Super Bowl Sunday, which turns out to be one of the busiest pizza days of the year. Um, so kind of put our feet to the fire and we made a whole lot of pizzas and they never came back um, other than to check on us occasionally. <laughs> and ever since then, we've been running the store, um, good and bad. It's definitely been an experience. And it's been a whirlwind ever since, with no stopping. Kind of like a tornado. Wizard of Oz, Dorothy, things flying in the air. Just realizing that what's important and, you know, the important thing is that I'm working with a group of people that I value and that I trust and that we're gonna make a go of it. And while not every business succeeds, a lot of businesses do. And a lot of that will depend on us. And no matter how it works out, we still have the basis of who we are. We have learned a ton, we've grown a ton, and failure is not an option. The advice I would give to somebody looking to buy and own a restaurant is to have a solid plan do the research on all the prices and the costs that it takes to make the food and think about the people that you're going to have to hire to run it. We're crazy. I should have gotten ready or brushed brush my hair, should have got me in the morning. Are you ready for me? What am I? What is the Okay. <sighs> Get loose here. <sighs> I'm David, and I'm the CEO. Jeff says I'm the main one. He tells everybody, anybody, everybody that we meet. I'm really starting to get a complex that I'm the main one. <laughs> because they keep saying it. Am I actually the main one? Because for some reason, I've always liked the idea of having an ice cream. I love ice cream. I'm the producer. No, sir. It's hot beer. It is hot beer. And this is, wait, wait. Can you say hi? Hi. Our coffee is available on our website at coffeebyinferno.com. There is a flavor for everybody. Um, our coffee sales go towards the growth of our company. Um, every time you like our videos or subscribe, it helps our restaurant dynasty. Hi.
If you like this content, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.